Hi everyone, thanks so much for being here. My name is Kat and I make houseplant videos here on Good and Planty. If you just so happen to absolutely love this video, please consider liking it, commenting, subscribing, or following me on Instagram. All of these things help me grow my channel like a plant. Today we are talking about something we all have to do <laughs> every week and that is watering our plants. You would think that watering is pretty straightforward. You kind of just put water on your plant and let them enjoy it. But there is a lot of questions and confusion surrounding top versus bottom watering. Some people use exclusively one method, some people use a combination of both. I am one of the people that use both because I think that top and bottom watering are good for certain plants and specific situations. So today we are going to talk about how and when I use each watering method. I want to start things off by talking about top watering because that is the most common watering method, I believe. Top watering is definitely my go-to method for the majority of my houseplants. There's a couple different reasons why it is sort of my default watering method. First and foremost, I really like that it allows the water to fully flush through the soil and that is helpful for a couple different reasons, but I specifically like it because I tend to top dress my plants, which is when you put kind of like a fresh layer of soil and maybe worm castings on the top of your soil, kind of like replenish some nutrients and breathe new life into an old potted plant. When you are top watering, it kind of helps cement and I don't know, bring together all of those new amendments that you are adding to the pot. I also like it because it really mimics nature. Rain is top-down watering, so of course that's nice. We're always trying to mimic the outside environment in our home. And I really like that if you top down water, it gives you an opportunity to sort of wash off the leaves a little bit. And it's not as effective as really cleaning your leaves with a solution, but it's always nice to get a little bit of that dust and light grime off of your leaves in an easy way. So top watering can definitely be effective and satisfying to the plant if it's done correctly. A lot of people prefer bottom watering because they don't think top watering is effective, but usually that's because they are not taking the time to top water correctly. So let's talk about that. This is how I prefer to top water, especially if I'm not in a huge rush. I pick about two or three plants to focus on at a time, and I go over each one with an initial light drizzle, and I let that sit for maybe a minute or so. That kind of allows that first little bit of water to trickle down and just moisten the soil a little bit and prepare it to absorb even more water down the line. So once that initial little light water has sat in the plant for about a minute, I will go kind of in a rotation between the two or three plants and give a little bit more water until I see it completely coming down out of the bottom drainage hole. This slower process is super important because if you just dump a bunch of water on top of the plant initially, you kind of risk having more water flow over the rim of the pot or just going down the sides. So this method really lets you have the soil fully absorb all of the water that you are putting into the pot and it will come out of the drainage hole slower so you know that you're doing a good job. After I see the water coming out of the drainage hole in the bottom and the saucer is filling up, I will go ahead and dump out any excess water and my plants are done. I personally love this method because it is fast, it is easy, it is pretty clean <laughs> if you're being careful and that kind of like slow method and really focusing on each plant kind of is soothing and really lets you connect with your plants for a moment. So that's a little bit of like a sappy bonus, but it is definitely a bonus of top watering in my opinion. Okay, so now let's talk about bottom watering. Before we jump into bottom watering, what is bottom watering? So if you are not sure, if you are new to bottom watering, all that essentially means is that you are watering from the bottom. I'm gonna go over exactly how I bottom water in just a few minutes, but I do wanna give you a general idea that it is when you put a plant in basically a small body of water and allow the soil to kind of get more moist and then the plant can suck up whatever water it wants from that little thing of water. It'll make more sense in just a second. <laughs> so bottom watering as opposed to top watering is useful for very specific plants and situations is what I've kind of 
figured out, at least for myself. I'm gonna list off a couple of these specific examples. So there are kind of a few because they are sort of like one-offs, but just bear with me and it'll make sense. So my first example of a plant that I would go ahead and bottom water is a plant with fuzzy leaves. The most like common example I can think of are begonias. I will specifically mention that I do not water my philodendron micans. For some reason, they're fine. I think they're a little bit less hairy than some of my begonias and stuff like that. It is important to bottom water these plants because you want to avoid having any moisture lock into the hairs of those leaves. Once moisture gets trapped in there, you are absolutely promoting bacteria growth and that to you will look like crispy leaves, which nobody really wants. I also really enjoy bottom watering peperomia. This is kind of a personal preference as far as I know and that's because I've had a lot of issues with peperomia is uprooting. They kind of grow in like very bushy crowns and they have very fragile root systems. So I found that when I was top watering them, it would kind of push away soil from the base of the plant and then they would sort of topple over. I've found it a lot easier to bottom water peperomias and it also kind of regulates the amount of moisture the roots are getting, which is important because they are very, very susceptible to root rot. So I definitely recommend bottom watering your peperomias. I also bottom water if a plant is in very compacted or old soil. That is because if you are to top water a plant like that, it will most likely just run off of the sides because when soil compacts, it kind of moves away from the edge of the pot and you can just have kind of like a waterfall effect. The middle of that soil where the roots are are not gonna get any water. So you might think that you are watering that plant when in reality you were sort of just like moistening the outside of that root ball. The best way to handle those situations is to go ahead and bottom water that plant, then take something like a chopstick or a butter, not maybe not a butter knife, and just like aerate the soil a little bit, break it up, and then in the future you can go ahead and top water. And the last sort of bottom watering situation I'll talk about is if a plant is in a pot that is about like three or two and a half inches and smaller, I find it a lot easier to bottom water them. It's just like a lot cleaner and easier to bottom water those plants, take my word for it. If you try to top water them, you'll probably have a lot of runoff and you'll be sitting there trying to kind of incrementally water it for quite some time. So those are sort of the specific situations where I will make a mental note to myself that that plant is going in the bottom watering section of my routine. Now let's talk about how to actually go about bottom watering. All you really need is some sort of bin and you will fill that up with water. This can be a cash post situation, I think I'm saying that correctly, or just any sort of container that can hold water. I have kind of a combination of cash posts I fill with water. My dog is crying. You wanna hang out for a little? Back to the camera. Anyway, so I have a mixture of a couple cash post situations and then I have a large tub for bigger plants and then I have a small little plastic saucer that I use for my smaller plants. So when I bottom water I do have a couple different stations. When you are bottom watering since you are going to be watering a couple plants at a time if one of those plants needs distilled water all of them are basically going to get distilled water so just keep that in mind. A lot of my plants that need distilled water I do try to keep in cash pose so that I don't have to use a whole ton of distilled water on like a large group of plants. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're famous. I find that nursery pots bottom water the best and that's just because terracotta pots are so porous that they will end up soaking up a ton of water. Whereas if you're putting a nursery pot in your bottom watering station, most of the moisture getting sucked up will be going directly to the soil. Either way is super doable, but just keep that in mind that you'll probably be going through more water if you're using terracotta pots. Sorry for the dog distraction. When he comes while I'm filming, I can't say no. I can't say no. Once you have all of your pots bottom watering, I wait about 10 to 15 minutes for smaller pots and then maybe like 30 minutes 
for larger pots. Basically what I'm looking for is either on terracotta pots, there will probably be a water line of where the water has absorbed to. So I'll look for that to be about like an inch from the surface, or you can literally just stick your finger in the soil and also see if the top inch or so is getting moist. If it's moist, then you're good to go to take that pot out of the station and bring it back to the saucer. If your plant, this has happened to me where a plant kind of sits in the bottom watering station for maybe like 45 minutes and it's still not getting as saturated as I would like, I kind of will carefully drizzle um, some water on top of the soil just to make sure that it is fully watered. That's sort of like a very random situation, but if it happens to you, that's normal. Just go ahead and try to very carefully top water just a bit. I would say that bottom watering is a necessity for some plants, but it can also be a great method for watering a bunch of plants if you are in a pinch. I think I have the dog tail coming in and out of the frame. Okay, so that's gonna be it for today's video. Hopefully that kind of clarifies when I use top watering versus bottom. A lot of this is in my opinion, but it has worked for me, so hopefully it works for you as well. Mika is starting to wanna play, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video. But thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe if this video is helpful and you would like to see more planty content, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!